to your capability to go beyond the relational level. And these are the outputs that we expect from you in each of the modules plan for the conduct of this uh, professional development. Okay. Five points um, expected for this component alone. If you got more than that, uh, as I think uh, we added some more items, but these will be used uh, in other modules, not necessarily uh, co covered in the tally that I mentioned. Uh, in, in the scoring that we gave, uh, we only used binary scoring. So we used a zero for all the incorrect answers and three points for the correct answer. So that's the limitation of the MS form that I mentioned. But this uh, could be corrected when you see the actual tool, the, the word file the, in PDF format rather, um, that uh, we will also upload in our LMS. So you can do the, the rechecking of your own test uh, uh, with reference to the solo scoring that I mentioned. All right, so what is this solo? I uh, mentioned already that this has been uh, popularized by Kevin Collis and John Biggs yeah, in their book, no, um, Evaluating the Quality of Learning. This was published in 1982. So it's actually old, uh, even older than the revised Bloom's Taxonomy of David Cratwall and uh, Lauren Anderson. But this has not been used uh, that much, no, in, especially in, in our country. I think um, not, not so many are practicing solo in the structure of their test. And so we are introducing this because I thought uh, we thought this is a very good framework, especially if we want to improve how we score students' um, responses to tests and how we communicate results to them. So this is a framework for understanding with five levels that I mentioned. So these are the five levels, pre-structural, unistructural, multi-structural, relational, and extended abstract. And I'm highlighting that in the design of TALI, the correct and best answer could only represent relational and it cannot, uh, uh, the, the format that we use, multiple choice, could not capture the extended abstract because that would mean going beyond uh, the common or the, use, the usual thing. Uh, it requires one to look at uh, new ideas or present ideas in a different way. And that is not possible in an ordinary uh, multiple choice. So we have the unistructural, we have the multi, when we say, uh, sorry, we'll start with the, the, the lowest, the pre-structural, this is the totally wrong response. So when, when a set of questions um, would be uh, posted there in, uh, in a tool, like in the tally, and uh, you look at the choices, if, if you pick a response that is totally wrong, then in solo, that will be coded as zero. So that's uh, pre-structural. And when a response that you chose is a little bit correct, no, merong uh, one idea, you can infer one idea is correct there, then that will be given uh, one point and that represents unistructural. When two or more ideas uh, seem to be uh, displayed in the choice, uh, you, uh, you have chosen in the multiple choice, then that could represent multi-structural uh, level. But this is not yet the correct and best answer. As you can see in the, the symbol, they are disconnected. There are, you could infer several ideas from the choice uh, chosen, but this does not yet represent the, the correct and best answer for the problem given in the item. And what we expect as a good and, um, or not just the good, but the best and correct answer from a set of choices with four choices as that of uh, what you saw in Tali is at the relational level. So this is uh, described as a, a response where one you could see the, the connection between and among ideas that are embraced in such option. And as I said, the, the highest level is extended abstract 
but in a multiple choice, uh, that is its limitation. We use SOLO in different purposes. So for test development, we can use SOLO in structuring our responses to questions in multiple choice test format. We can also use this in structuring our rubrics. Remember the, uh, the image of the rubric that I shared this um, in our first exercise? There were four, right? No, excellent. And then poor yung lowest. Parang ganun po. Pwede yung poor, that's the pre-structural. And then yung uh, one, that could be unistructural. Then two, that could be multi-structural. And then three, that could be like relational. But if you could go beyond that, like you can do more than the flipping of the fingers, the right and the, and the pinky finger. And you can also move um, other parts of your body, then that could be likened to extended abstract. But in our exercise, I was just focused on testing you first if you could demonstrate um, the mastery of the flipping of the fingers as that's what uh, I'm aiming for and that could be linked to relational. But if you could go beyond that, the better. Okay, we could also use um, SOLO to describe the degree of correctness of responses given to questions. We can also use this in improving our scoring. We normally score tests uh, binarily, no? Uh, meron lang uh, two scores, zero or one, one for the correct answer or zero for all the incorrect answers. So we want to propose an improvement in the scoring and, and that should lead to an improvement of the interpretation of the scores as well and how we communicate the results to the concerned stakeholders. So these are the five levels again. And how do we link this to the levels of proficiency? So if let's say you chose a response in um, four, four uh, choice, uh, multiple choice item, no? uh, the lowest could be zero if the response you chose uh, represents pre-structural, as I said. And to us, if we look at the levels of proficiency as um, revealed by the way you responded to the item, we could say if your response is pre-structural, then that indicates uh, non-proficiency. So you're not yet proficient. You're not demonstrating any knowledge at all no, when you responded at that level. But if you chose a response that is equivalent to unistructural, that is like you are somewhat proficient. Okay, but if it's multi-structural, you are nearly proficient. And if you hit the correct and best answer, so that's the time we will say, ah, this person is uh, proficient as uh, gauged by how he or she responded to this item, representing a certain competency that is targeted. And if you could go beyond that, which unfortunately is something we could not assess in the format that we chose, then that is like highly proficient. Okay, um, in test development, of course, we want to ensure that students demonstrate deep understanding. And that is, um, in solo again, <coughs> that is up to uh, relational uh, level. So that, that is already indicative of uh, deep understanding. But if it goes uh, deeper than that at the extended abstract level, as I said, the better. And constructed response test formats would be good at this um, level of extended abstract. So these are the formats possible. Multiple choice up to relational only, constructed response up to highly proficient uh, level or extended abstract. Um, ito lang po ano, uh, ang nahit natin doon sa test natin. And this is how we scored you. Zero if um, all the, if you chose a response that happens to be at pre-structural to multi-structural, just to tell you that this is our traditional way of scoring, no? binary nga po, zero. But the highest score that we gave to an item representing relational, which uh, to us in, is indicative of your proficiency, was score three points. Kaya yung 25 items, sabi ko kanina, ang total na pinakamataas ay 75 items. Kung may nadagdag doon, parang may four items na nadagdag, but that will be discussed in the module of Dr. Carlo. Uh, that's not uh, included in the count. All right. If we apply solo scoring, and uh, and as I uh, explained, the coding could be a reference to our improved scoring. So if uh, MS form uh, was able to. Um, integrate no, or accommodate improved scoring like we could assign one point to a certain option or two points to another option instead of just saying zero or three, then that 
uh, could have been better. But because we want you to see the difference of binary to N and improve scoring using solo, that we want you to experience the binary scoring first. But in the post-assessment, we will introduce the solo um, scoring. And then um, uh, here is...